Hi, it's uh, the Timothy's of Joseph, the Timmy Joe here. Haven't done a camera review in a while, and uh, I've actually already done this camera review. Uh, links up here, but you can tell from my background, you can tell from this box, I finally got another Sony A5000 in my hands, and I love it. It is the ultimate YouTube camera, it's the ultimate video camera, and uh, that link in the cards is kind of a review on how this thing takes pictures, how it's a pretty decent picture camera on a budget. But I want to talk about why this is like the ultimate YouTube camera if you're getting started. So, you know, it's just a very good video camera in general and just kind of go over why I love it, why it's sitting there and compare it sort of to what I've been using to shoot my videos since like December. Uh, I've been using a, a Samsung phone of some sort. So cue an intro, we're going to talk all about the Sony A5000. <gasps> Boom! <laughs> Okay, so I got this thing uh, open box special for about $320 Canadian. And that seems to be like the going rate for it in the States is around $320. It sells for $520 retail here, but you can always find deals. In fact, on Black Friday, it was $420. I've seen open box specials at Best Buy getting this thing down there a, a few times. And I'm glad I finally got one back. And it's just the best. And it's because it has a very large sensor for you know the, the the package it strips a lot of the features that you know a professional would use and a lot of things like uh, an eyepiece and you know like hot shoe mic input but it uh, sacrifices those things and gives a really good image quality for the price so what we'll do is uh, i've been using this for a while we'll go ahead and switch to this and then we'll see if you can tell the difference and we'll see really what can how it compares and i'll go over all the features i love on the sony a5000 <gasps> all right so um you know what doesn't look half bad does it samsung does an extremely well uh, you know, time putting a camera into a smartphone and their focus on not only picture quality, but video quality is just commendable. That's why I got rid of the LG G6. It did not have video like this. And I was worried I was going to be using my cell phone for a while, but, uh, you know, things have been looking up on YouTube been making a little bit of money, put it back into the channel and I went and had to grab this. And, uh, you know what? I, I love this camera and you can tell right away why. It's got the flippy screen. Now I can make sure I'm in focus. Now I can make sure that, you know, the, uh, the everything's corrected for quality of uh, the color and that uh, I'm in frame, the shot is framed. When I have it set up for my phone here, I'm looking at the, obviously the, the back camera because it's the best quality. And I end up, something might go wrong where I didn't frame the shot properly, have to reshoot it again. Also can't tell if I'm recording, uh, but I got to give it to, to Samsung. They have a pretty good 4K image, and that's one thing this does not have. So what do you get for this thing? Well, it's got a little pop-up flash. You know, if you want to use it for pictures, it does take raw images. It's an APS-C size sensor. And what that means is like the Sims uh, or most point and shoot cameras have a, a little sensor that's like this big. And uh, if you want something that's actually going to get some quality and get a good depth of field, you know, that's the sensor inside of this camera. And it doesn't come with the greatest lens, but it has optical image stabilization, this camera. It has uh, stereo microphones on the top here, which work really well. And if you have the screen flipped up like this, it kind of acts as a barrier so no sound comes from behind. And uh, it, shoot, it gives you all kinds of manual controls, like everything is manually controlled in here. Uh, and you can map all the buttons. I have it set up in video mode so that focus mode is set to like the left. ISO, you know, that is the right. This little uh, question mark here is uh, the aperture. So I can control all that stuff pretty much live right in front of me. The battery lasts pretty well. Uh, and it just takes just really, really good video quality. It's great for YouTube. It's great as setting up as sort of a stationary camera, or you can put it on a Gorillapod, walk around with it. It has a very good 
um, like focus angle. So like you can get yourself in the shot just by holding it like this far away. And it actually has, you know, it's just a really great feature set. And I wanted to encourage you guys, if you're going to go out and you, you don't want to start uh, shooting YouTube videos, you can use your cell phone, you can use anything and you could, you know, it's all about getting the content onto your computer and really start to, you know, play with stuff. And when, once you get some stuff online, you can get used to it. But if you really want to up your game, $300, $400, for this camera you can really get some great shots and improve things quite a bit uh, I, I just I love this thing it's it's <laughs> I've said that like 10 times and I'm really happy to have it back on the channel so some downsides of this camera it overheats which is weird if you're shooting for more than like 20 minutes with it uh, in video mode it will shut off and not let you record for five minutes uh, the battery life although it's adequate it's it's not the greatest uh, it doesn't have a microphone input. It doesn't have a hot shoe. So you're stuck with the recording on here. That's why I use an external microphone. But uh, pros would definitely be the stereo microphones if you're using this thing kind of as a vlog camera. And the full manual controls, you can change anything. There is a full video manual mode. There's a full picture mode. You could shoot in raw with this, edit the raw photos in the Adobe Lightroom and get a lot of great pictures out of it. If you wanna go in the cards or check at the end of the video, I have a full review of how you can take pictures with this. But uh, that's where I'm gonna leave it today. Great camera, Sony A5000. Uh, the 5100 has a touch screen, but it's the same camera. And the 60 uh, or 6000 and 6100 uh, kind of just add a viewfinder to this, which eliminates the ability to pop the screen up like this. And a little bit of uh, maybe image quality, like a little bit faster processing more megapixels and then the 6300 is where it starts really getting into more professional stuff but uh even at this low end this this camera does a wonder and if you want a good video camera like you know they don't really sell good camcorders anymore this would be a great starting point for sure so i'm timmy joe watch timmy joe on instagram and twitter there will be four computer videos this week uh starting whether it's a showcase of graphics cards starting tomorrow so you guys have a good day and i will check you later